Teams in preparing for the close, dirty air duel, where pilot skill and maneuverable aircraft are the keys to victory. Part of the difference in mentality between uh, the Russians and the West as well has been the belief that the dogfighting mission has never left. Uh, over the years, we as Americans have always tried to ditch this mission. Uh, after World War I, we said the dogfight was over. Uh, after World War II, the dogfight was over. Then no, then after Korea, no, no, now it's over. The Russians have always believed in the dogfight. They've never left it. All of their airplanes reflect it. In the West, Russian pilots were often seen as unimaginative flyers, slaves to commands from the ground. In reality, they are quite innovative and daring. They perfected this maneuver, which they say can only be done in their Su-27 class of jets. Known as the Cobra, it resembles that deadly snake coiled for attack. In a duel situation, if two aircraft are closely matched, it's hard to win the duel. The Cobra lets a pilot who's being pursued rise above and slide behind his adversary, thus becoming the pursuer. The designers and pilots hope that with the aid of this Cobra maneuver, this very quick short-term jump to a high angle of attack, we hope to be able to fire a rocket or get into range to use a rocket. It's a, it's a last-ditch maneuver. It's something a pilot would do to shake somebody off of his tail. It's very effective for that. Uh, but, but again, it's something we normally don't do in the West. The Cobra recalls an earlier time in Russian history when another, even more heart-stopping maneuver was adopted. The Taran, or deliberately ramming an enemy's airplane. 